So we're here in Playa Las Americas on the beautiful Golden Mile on a lovely evening here on the island of Tenerife. Check out this beautiful tree here. It's just like Christmas, isn't it? Well, it is Christmas. We're here in November. It is November the 19th, Wednesday the 19th. And it is a beautiful evening here on the island of Tenerife. We've got the Mediterranean Palace. It's getting done up just now. It's getting renovated. It's all white now. Another Christmas tree just here. You've got Hugo Boss designer outlet. Lovely. You go Mamma Mia restaurant at the top here, just here in the corner. And then there's the menu there. <laughs> We're coming up to the Hard Rock Cafe. It's on the left hand side. How beautiful does that look at night time? This is probably my favourite place in Playa Las Americas. It's certainly the busiest place. You've got some nice Christmas lights around the trees, Christmas lights at the top here, it looks beautiful. But what the best thing is, when you come to Tenerife you need to visit the fountains and hopefully on every half an hour they do a show, which one someone's on now. Yes, the show is on now here at the fountains. You've got the Hard Rock Cafe. Anybody been? Is it any good in there? And then you've got Magic Happy Hour, a bar next to the Hard Rock. I've been in there with the missus. Very expensive. Okay guys, here are the fountains. How beautiful, how beautiful are the fountains here on the island of Tenerife. There's Harry's Bar at the top. I mean, this safari centre is beautiful. Lots of shops open at night time as well for you guys to do shopping. So the fountains are beautiful. Now, I'm not too sure if it's copyright music. Oh. How beautiful is that? I just want to jump in. Should I jump in? No, I'll get in trouble. So this is obviously the Tenerife Golden Mile. It's called the Golden Mile because it's so bright. You know what I mean? Like how bright is all the shops? It's like the Golden Mile. What a name. Who came up with that name? Let me know in the comments. I have no idea. El Frado restaurant. There, ladies and gentlemen. Always bright with neon lights. Is that a good restaurant? Let me know in the comments. So, how busy is Tenerife during November? Well, I've been here three days now, and it's quite quiet during the day. Obviously, everybody's at the hotels. At night time, everyone comes out to play. So, it's not busy, busy, 
but it's not quiet. As you can see, there's still a lot of people. We've still got lots of things getting sold by the local looker men. We've got a Skatchew boy here who is uh, trying to impress people with his statue skills. Not a job that I could do. trying his skills to, to, to get his money as a woman. We we'll have some live entertainment here. So live entertainment here every night, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, Saturday, Sunday, Friday, Monday, Friday, day off, <laughs> Thursday, Ellen John on a Wednesday, and Elvis on a Tuesday. So always someone performing here at night. Uh, have you ever been here? Do you like it here? Let me know in the comments. The Santiago number three. I heard it has the best pool, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, it's got the biggest and best pool in this area. Let me know in the comments if you like that hotel. Okay, so we're walking along the Golden Mile here and we're on the opposite side. Lots of shops, gift shops, electrical shops, tobacco shops, vape shops. They've got all types of shops here in Tenerife. It's amazing how we get nothing like this at home apart from Blackpool. Blackpool's got stuff like this, maybe not as extreme as uh, Tenerife, but how is it we don't have shops all lit up at night? People can go and buy stuff. I mean, what's wrong with the UK that we can't do that? Okay, guys, so we're just continuing this walk along the Golden Mile. We've got a shopping centre downstairs, remember? It is a shopping centre downstairs. It's not really busy though at night time, is it? People tend to stay upstairs compared to going down there. Plus, I heard they've not really got any great aircon down there. So, what's this restaurant like? Is this a Chinese restaurant? Anybody tried this place? Is it any good? Let me know in the comments. Some ice cream outside. Anybody can buy ice cream? People enjoying their meal. Back to the number five. Was that number four? Let me know in the comments if I got it wrong. Whoa, what's this here? That's cool. Show me it works. Show me. Show me. Show me. Let's see how this works. Whoa, it goes right up and it spins down. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. Whoa, you got it. Well done. Thank you. Guys selling them. Here's a question, does it give you the same one? Or does it give you one that's not working? <laughs> Imagine eh? But they're quite cool. You can always haggle with the guys too, so they'll start off at a high price and you just work them down as low as you can get. But the look of look of men have been greedy lately, because I tried to get a bag from my wife and they were at 60 euro. I said no, no, 30. And he was like, no, 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 50, 50. He wouldn't go below 50. So I was like, what the hell? But this place is all lit up tonight. Africa? What's that, sorry? You from Africa? No, no, I'm from Scotland, mate. No, you look like from Africa. I, I wish I was from Africa. How long have you been here? Long time? Three days. You never been to Africa? Never been to Africa, okay, mate. Maybe one day. Maybe one day, really. For you, for free. No, Listen, <laughs> no, 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 I'm not accept. I know how it works, I'm not accepting it. You ask for a tip, no, it's fine. Why are you not happy? This long life. I'm on YouTube, member, so. No, I give you from my heart no, no. because you're a good man. Not good. You give it from my heart and then you tell me you need some, no, a tip. Good look, long you got life. kids or something. This no, no, I understand, buddy. I've already bought a few things today as well. Why so I do appreciate you guys. 
<laughs> no, well, sir. No, sir. It's fine, but I understand what you're doing and good luck with everything. Thank you. Thank you, Th thank you. Thank you very much. I've got to go, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> well, there you go. From Africa. People of Africa, ladies and gentlemen. I've got to buy one. See, that's. <laughs> They give it to you, and then they'll ask for a tip. It's the biggest scam ever to go. New York is bad for it too, with monks. You got monks going about saying they're, they're giving you a wristband, and then they'll say, $20, please. I mean, if I took that off that guy, he would have char He would have said, small donation, the hat would have came off. But he's forgetting, I've got a camera. They're not interested or not scared of the camera, are they? So, yeah. <laughs> oh, that is obviously content, isn't it? Beautiful, absolutely wonderful, guys. Wonderful. So, I'm just going to take a brief moment. I do Edinburgh content, I do food and travel all around Edinburgh, and I've started to go further. So, I'm here in Tenerife for a special event, which was yesterday where I took part in a charity walk which we raised money for cancer. So we raised a lot of money. I'm quite happy with that. The guy who organised it, two guys who organised it, Tim, living with MS in Tenerife, going to give him a subscribe. And check out Webby, Webby Sports Roundup. If you're into your sports, check his channel, say hello, give him a subscribe. Also, he's got a charity auction where you can bid on certain things, England shirts, signed shirts, all genuine items, take a bid, it's a charity, all money will go for cancer, they'll make sure you get your item before Christmas guys, check out, I think the website is timmyfidel slash webby, and if you can't find it, send me a message in the comments and I'll send you the link. This is beautiful at night, wait till I turn this corner, wait till you see how beautiful Tenerife is, beautiful. Well, you can't beat views like that here on the island of Tenerife with the sound of the beautiful ocean, ladies and gentlemen. So that's what most of the Golden Mile. I want to say thank you to each and every single one of you for watching this video to the very end. My name's Michael, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care, my friends. Bye.